welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited to be back with another eye look tutorial for you guys today. For today's look, I created this look right here. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieved it, then just go ahead and keep on watching. And also, I just want to let you guys know that we have a huge summer sale on our Lash website. Everything is 50% off and we are not going to be restocking on anything. So it's first come, first serve so don't forget to check that out link will be in the description box down below everything is 50 percent off so for today's palette i'm going into my morphe x james charles palette i'm going into the orange shade and i'm just buffing that into my crease going in left and right motions and i am kind of um, doing a cat eye shape so I am taking it all the way out to that outer corner and then I'm going into an angled brush and the darkest purple shade in the palette and I'm just applying this right smack in the center of my crease and this is going to be our line of definition this is going to be our map for where we're going to apply more shades and we're just going to build off of this this is how I like to apply my shadow and it just gives me a nice and controlled way of applying depth and then I'm going into this smaller tapered brush and I'm going into this purple magenta shade and I'm just going in left and right motions over top of that line and we're keeping it nice and controlled keeping it super low and as you guys can see we're starting to build our gradient Next, I'm mixing these two shades right here and I'm going into an even smaller tapered blending brush and we're going to get even closer to that line of definition. We're going to apply a little bit more depth and it's going to make it look a little bit more seamless, a little bit more blended and we're going directly over top of this line and it's just going to connect that darkest purple shade to that magenta shade a lot better. And also, if you guys want to make sure that that upper crease is super blended, you can go back in with that original blending brush and that original shade as well. And then I'm grabbing this angled brush and my concealer and I'm just carving my lid and also applying this color, I mean this concealer to the lid as well to give us a nice even base for all the shadows that we're going to apply next. Um... It's okay if that line isn't super sharp because we are going to be going in with glitter uh, into that top uh, crease line. So you guys will see that very shortly. But I'm grabbing this small compact brush and we're just pressing some translucent powder over top of the lid. Next, I'm going into this ColourPop Jelly Mud Shadow in the shade Mojave Moves. And I'm going to be pressing this onto my lid. And we are going to be concentrating this on the inner half of our lid and then just packing whatever is left over on the brush to that center of the lid. So it's going to be a nice gradient. And then I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter in the shade Pink Sapphire. And this is probably one of my favorite glitters by them. It has really beautiful gold reflex. So what I did was I grabbed this angled brush and I did a line of glitter glue directly where I want that glitter to be. And then I go in with the glitter over top of that line of glitter glue. That way you get minimal fallout and everything is nice and neat. Going into that magenta shade and my tapered brush, I'm just focusing this on the outer corner and just doing dragging inward motions to blend it in with the lid shade. And then I'm going into that darkest purple shade and we're just going to be blending that into the magenta shade. And then last but not least, we're going to be going into our first transition color, the orange shade. And I'm going to be going into a small compact brush. And we're going to be connecting that magenta shade to the uh, Mojave Moves shade. And this way we have a really beautiful variation of colors and it gives us a really nice dimension. And then I'm peeling off my tape and I wanted to get a little fancy with today's look. I was really in an artistic mood. So I applied my tape a little bit lower than I did originally. And then I just grabbed that magenta shade once again and I just applied it over that tape. And then I just did a line of glitter glue once again and then followed up with the pink sapphire glitter over top of that line of glitter glue. And then I'm just peeling off my tape 
And then I'm just concealing my under eye and setting it with translucent powder before I apply my lashes. So for my lashes, I'm applying my Shop Sophie Bella Bahama lashes. Like I said, guys, everything is 50% off. These lashes are originally 20 and now they are $10. So, and we're not going to be coming back with these. So, first come, first serve. The link is in the description box down below. And then I grabbed my smudger brush and my orange shade and just applied that to my lower lash line and then went into the magenta shade on the outer corner. And then my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara for my lower lashes. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm grabbing my Pixie by Petra highlight, popping that into my inner corner. And this is the finished look right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to help support our channel. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think of this look. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!